All right, hello everyone. This is G Shock High Fashion Channel, and welcome to another G Vlog. Today is the first June 2018, and as always, as always, gonna have a look at this month's new release G Shock watches. Outside, literally by the beach so you're gonna hear all those wave noises at the background and one of the reasons that i'm currently filming the unboxing review video for this mod master g-shock watch over here so instead of just me going back home and resetting everything back up this is much more efficient and you know what it is a really nice weather today it's not as hot not as cold i got all the g-shock watches over here in my phone right now sort of like a notes for me to read it out as i'm making this video so we're gonna have a look at 12 models all together let's start it up by the first or the most simple release of the month that is metallic mirror face g-shock watch that is four colorway all in black this is sort of like the b b model the blackout basic model where everything is just black except that change the black accent to the watch face and add in a silver a mirror face or a gold mirror face but the gold one over here is ip plated so that's pretty cool thing to see or to have in this model considering that the price of this series or the gold version is only twelve thousand five hundred japanese yen for the silver version is gonna be like eleven 1500 yen you can get the w5700 model or the dw5600 model both of these watches feature similar engine the functions is exactly and totally the same what makes them different is the shape one in round and one in square it's all up to you guys both is still a classic piece let's move on to another g-shock watch that is not so simple that is called the rustar series if i'm not mistaken the last time we received something like this is like five years ago so it's pretty interesting to see this coming back again castle g-shock always releasing g-shock watches with a rustar color team which is tricolor red uh green and uh yellow sometimes black they have been doing this ever since the 90s and this is nothing different except they feature this color on a new uh g-shock watches and that is dw560 model both of them and another one is the ga400 series which is pretty surprising though i didn't expect castle g-shock would still be producing this model and you know what this is this is here it is again man it looks very very good in my opinion especially the ga400 cm the one that is in all black version the all red version looks pretty good as well but i prefer the dark color uh, team on this uh, series moving to the square piece either the full color or the black i'm considering to get the black version more than full color the red yellow and blue on this model is pretty pale i mean it's too pale in my opinion 13,000 yen for the full colored uh, rasta model and 12,000 japanese CM for the black and blue, uh, blue or green version poster photos usually aren't the same as the real g-shock watches in person so all this that i'm saying might change in the future but for now yeah my pick will be the black the all black version simple all right, talking about black and a little bit of color this year we didn't get much hype on this icrc release model and you guys could already tell that like, castle announced this gw6902k dash 9 jr icrc 2018 model like few months ago and people was like so it's no big deal this model over here like really no big deal at all it's i mean it's very very basic but again the colorway is a classic colorway if you look back in history i believe somewhere in the 90s or in the early 2000s castle g-shock did really something similar like this there's a black and yellow color combination and just name it icrc before and the most popular one will be the gw uh 200 series frogman model but this is a nice addition if you miss out on that the price is only 24,000 yen uh in japan you could get this below retails as always i like the usual icrc g-shock watch this is over here is a no-no for me like i gotta be honest well obviously if i found this gw6902k uh, icrc 2018 model at a low cost or an affordable price i'm definitely gonna grab this and share with all of you guys or all of a sudden i decided to give donations to icrc instead and yeah i'm probably gonna grab this at retail so you know what this watch is made for donation for us to be able to contribute to this organization in in return we're gonna have a, a better environment so that's the purpose of this uh, release anyway moving to the more hype up release of the month and first of all i'm gonna talk about this gmwb 5000 series g-shock watch this is the new square uh, model this is very hype up today and one of the reasons that make this release so much popular is that castle decided to release the full metal version first and then they decided to release this which is a good move actually in my opinion so that makes this model will also sell out really really fast as well if you have the chance to grab one of these 
go ahead grab the thing even though it's just resin watch band with a metal we won't be able to get the full experience as when we get the full metal version but then again the engine itself is just good enough and also I'm, I'm pretty sure this model over here will be much more comfortable so why not just grab this thing instead if you have the chance if you miss out on this release i would recommend you guys to hunt down another release that will be coming uh somewhere at the first week of this month as well and that is all the color i'm not sure how to pronounce this but i will be releasing another gmwb with their own uh, touch on it which is indeed a gold bezel a gold band keeper and a gold buckle which is very interesting so let's move on to the next piece another metal and resin g-shock watch that is called the mtg dash b1000 model this is a mid-size mtg which is very interesting as well considering that it has more function compared to the previous release mtg and the price is also just the same so that's very interesting i would recommend you guys to get this one instead over the previous releases but it's, if you like the shape and the profile of the previous releases then it's up to you first of all we have a g-shock connected engine i mean every g-shock that recently been released have this engine built in it but in this specific model however castle add one cool feature that's solar charging status i'm not sure uh, how to use it but by reading from the description of this specific function i could tell that for example if you charge the watch under direct sunlight or under bright led or a cloudy day now we are able to compare how much power was generated by the solar panel on our watches at different type of condition unlike today we have top solar g-shocks already like the two that i'm wearing right now but none of this could tell me how much power that i'm generating from the uh, each charging session so tell me thing like this is very interesting and another thing i want to bring up is that the watch adapter i believe this is the first ever adapter a g-shock adapter that is made out of metal i'm just gonna call this adapter because this is the part that connect the look to the watch band so it, in a way it is an adapter but although the shape is totally different it looks very very tough and promising so i'm really excited to see one of this so you know what i'm most likely gonna grab this for review of the channel or after i finish making the unboxing review video for uh, this guy over here or other master of g that i'm planning to make that was really from a few months before so stay tuned for that as a starter castle only released like full black and red accents and black and silver model comparing this to the all black version looks much better in my opinion the red accent here is actually metallic red so it's gonna be very very gorgeous as well so yeah if i if i want to grab this my pick will be the full uh, black version instead of the silver black model moving to the last release of the month that is the new frogman the gwfd 1000 japan coastal guard special collaboration frogman g-shock watch you know what after casio announced uh, the release of this specific model i look it up the uh, trailer on youtube you can watch it as well i actually create a vote a vote system in my instagram story where you guys could vote either i should grab the watch or not and this is the result so 70 percent of you guys vote that this watch is a, a must have and 30 percent just vote that just drop it just leave it it's considering that the price is also one to eight thousand yen again the color is very beautiful in my opinion the watch band looks to me like it is in an acid green or just lime accent it's very beautiful in my opinion uh, almost similar tone as the one on the brazil rasta color that we just talked about just now all right that's all that i have right now let me know if i miss anything before i end this video this uh, this is some of the clips on the baby g upcoming releases if you look back in every baby g that was released recently you can see that baby g will usually be the watch that castle g-shock used to implement new technology in it and then they use that technology and use it to build a g-shock watch so that's the thing that i just realized as well baby g have it first and then g-shock gonna have it so by looking at this baby g model and giving some highlights we probably will have a rough idea what we're gonna be receiving upcoming uh, releases i believe that sums up all the g-shock watch for june 2018 let me know what you guys think let me know what your favorite g-shock watches mine will be the full black mtg model the ip player model obviously this will be the first pick the second pick will be the ga400 series the third pick surprisingly is the gmwb 5000 model in resin watch band let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below thank you very very much for watching guys i really appreciate you guys spending your time watching the content that i made on the channel leave a like if you found this video useful and don't forget to subscribe for more g-shock unboxing and g-vlog video that is coming up in the future thank you very very much for watching again this is g-shock high fashion channel and i'm uh,